Hey, I'm with Matt here. Matt gave a talk yesterday about Elm style. Mm -hmm. um, Matt, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I guess I don't. Uh, so I'm Matt, and um, yeah, I work for Cornell Tech in New York City. Uh, we do all kinds of like crazy computer science uh, research and uh, try to launch companies and everything. Um, yeah. And you wrote a book recently, is that right? Uh, I did, actually. Um, so there's a little uh, short, like, 40-page free O'Reilly book called Why Elm. Um, you can search for it, uh, and uh, it'll just kind of, like, uh, explain, like, technically and even practically, like, why Elm is interesting and, like, why you should probably check it out. Okay, and if um, if you wanted to sum up the book in, in, in a couple of sentences here for the viewers, what would you say? Oh, uh, man, I would say... <laughs> Like the main point with Elm is like if you want to be able to like write an application, leave it for a month, come back, and one day just add a feature and then go on vacation the next day, like Elm, you can do that. You're not going to get a mysterious breakage out of nowhere. Um, and the book kind of goes into like technically why that is. Um, but uh, that's the main thing, you know, this uh, the ability to refactor or add features um, and not have everything go south for you. And one of, one of the things that's really come to the fore of the conference has been the power of Elm's constraints when applied to uh, different problems and domains. You've done something really interesting with Elm Style. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, yeah. So the Style Elements Library, uh, what I really wanted is, like, why is layout... Um, why is layout separate from, like, essentially our HTML? Um, and... I mean, that was kind of like a really good question. So I started like pursuing it because like in CSS, uh, the main thing that most, uh, the biggest pain pr problem is when your layout breaks because it'll just happen kind of out of nowhere and, um, and it's really frustrating and like most developers, they're like, yeah, this, I've had this happen to me a million times. So um, what I could do is like, well, we all have these like little tricks um, that we have to like make things work. So I'm like, well, what if we could take all these like best tricks to make a very consistent layout engine um, that compiles to CSS and HTML uh, and like essentially give kind of like the same guarantee, we have this guarantee in Elm of like if it compiles there's no error. What if you could have a guarantee of like, oh man, if it compiles, like the style is going to be what I expect it to be. It's a little like looser of a guarantee, like it's like what does that mean? Um, which the talk, that's kind of what that's about. Um, but uh, I found that, yeah, like yeah, that's definitely possible to make it consistent. So. Okay, fantastic. And what's your experience beam of the first Elm Europe conference? Oh man, you know, it feels like you're just here with a bunch of friends, actually. Like, uh, like this is one of the things that I absolutely love about this community is just like everyone's very uh, friendly, very positive. Um, they want to, they're very constructive, very uh, thoughtful uh, people. So it, I'm, Super happy to be here. Okay, thank you very much, Matt. Awesome, thank you.